When I built this tandem canoe, I never thought of using it for fishing. After the first water test, I discovered it is very stable even without an outrigger. I decided to use that for fishing and see how I can make it better. The first prototype is still larger than what I want when folded. I can easily reduce the thickness to around 8 inches in my next build, which is about 30% smaller than the one you are seeing here. This canoe is about 14 and a half feet long, and there's plenty of open space for two people doing fishing. The center is very open to carry a lot of stuff. Compared with fishing in a smaller kayak, with this canoe I can stand up and stretch. I try to stand up on another smaller foldable canoe, like many other foldable canoes or boats. The floor of this boat is made with one single layer of coral plast, which is not very rigid. When I stood on it, I'm afraid of losing my balance. But with this Gen 16 design, the floor at the center section of the boat is made up of 2 inches thick foam. It is webbed with 4 mm thick coral plast, mainly as to protect the surface of the foam when I step on it. My body weight is spread out to a larger area, and the foam also provides a rigid structure, so I feel comfortable to stand on it and able to maintain my balance. This is the floor I use, and isn't that big, it's about 2.5 feet long and 30 inches wide. In the future, I will add pole holder, water bottle holder, pedal holder, etc. to this boat. Thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting or useful, please give me a like and help me to promote my videos so it will reach more people. And please subscribe also. Thank you. Bye.